The classic test for mind reading is called the Sally Ann. It's a test that normal kids are expected to pass when they're five years old. Who'd like to go next? Right, OK, this is Sally and this is Anne. Which one's Sally? This one. Well done, right. And Sally has got a basket. And Anne has got a box with nothing in it. And Sally has got a marble. And Sally puts her marble into her basket to keep it safe while she goes outside to play. But while Sally's outside, naughty Anne moves the marble from Sally's basket into her box. Naughty Anne. So where's the marble now? Mm, box. Good. Where did Sally put the marble in the beginning? Mm, basket. In the basket. Well done. So when Sally comes back from playtime, where will she look for her marble? In the box. In the box. Robert should have said the basket, because that is where Sally, in her ignorance, would have thought it was. He hasn't mind-read the situation from her point of view. What is it about the autistic brain, which means that children like Robert may never be able to mind-read like the rest of us?